Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang percentiles of ungrouped data. Kung sa quartiles, hinati natin ang data into 4 equal parts at sa decile ay hinati natin ang data into 10 equal parts. Kapag naman sinabi natin percentiles from the word percent, hinati natin ang data into 100 equal parts. So we have here P sub 10, P sub 20, P sub 30, P sub 40, up to P sub 99. So in between P sub 10 and P sub 20, meron pa dyang P sub 11, 12, hanggang 20, and so on, up to, hanggang, up to P sub 99. So P sub 12 or the 12th percentile divides the set of scores into lower 12% and upper 88%. So yung nasa left side niya, ito yung 12%. Okay, ito nasa right side naman is the upper 88%. Okay, so the 21st percentile divides the set of scores into lower 21% and upper 79%. So yung lower uh, 21%, ito yung nasa left side, ang nasa right side naman is the upper 79%. P sub 35 divides the set of scores into lower 35% and upper 65%. P sub 44 divides the set of scores into lower 44% and upper 56%. So kapag sinabi nating uh, upper 70%, so ibig sabihin, iyon ay 30th percentile. Kasi nga, uh, 70%, uh, we have the upper 70% and lower 30%, iyon yung kanyang percentile. Okay, the 30th percentile. So, let's have the first example. The following are the values in a set of data. 10, 9, 13, 17, 14, 11, 12, 12, 20. Compute P sub 12, P sub 34, and P sub 56. Step 1, arrange the data in ascending order. Okay, so we have the data arranged in ascending order like this. Step 2, identify the position of every percentile using the formula P sub K is equal to K over 100 times the quantity N plus 1 TH where n is the number of scores or observations. In the given, we have n is equal to 9. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 9 observations or scores. So, continuation ng step 2, identify the position of every percentile. P sub 12 is equal to 12 over 100 times 9 plus 1 is equal to 1 point second. P sub 34 is 34 over 100 times 9 plus 1 is equal to 3.4 and P sub 56 is 5.6. Step 3, solve for P sub 12, P sub 34, and P sub 56. So let's start with P sub 12. So it is in the 1 point second position, so it lies between first and second score. Okay, so the first and second score is 9 and 10. To find the value of P sub 12, we take the decimal part of 1.2 which is 0 0.2, okay? Multiply it by the difference of the first and second score and add it to the first score. So we have P sub 12 is equal to, this is the decimal part of 1.2, then 10 minus 9, this is the uh, second, this is the first score, and then plus natin siya sa first score, which, which is 9. So performing the operations, P sub 12 is equal to 9.2. Next, to solve for P sub 34, it is in the 3.4 position, so it lies between 3rd and 4th score. So the 3rd and 4th score is 11, or the 3rd and 4th score are 11 and 12. So to find the value of P sub 34, we do the same. Take the decimal part of 3.4, multiply it by the difference of the 3rd and 4th score, and add it to the 3rd score. So the decimal part of 3.4 is 0 0.4, and then 12 minus 11, ito yung ating 4th uh, at 3rd score, and then 11 naman yung ating 3rd score. Performing the operations, P sub 34 is equal to 11.4. Next, P sub 56 is in the 5.6 position. So, it lies between the 5th and 6th score. So, uh, katulad ng steps natin kanina, we take the decimal part of 5.6 and then i-minus natin 13 at saka 12. Ito yon, Okay, and then plus 12 which is the 5th score. Performing the operations, P sub 56 is equal to 12.6. Next, let's have the second example. Solve for P sub 48, P sub 52, and P sub 84 given the set of observations. Okay, so ito yung ating given. Step 1, arrange the data in ascending order. 
Ito yung pagkaka-arrange niya. Okay, so pinakamababa ay 69, pinakamataas ay 99. Step 2, you identify the position of every percentile using this formula where n is the number of scores or observations. So based on the given, we have n is equal to 15. Step 2, identify the position of every percentile. So, P sub 48 is in the 7.68 position. This is by using the formula. Ang pinalitan lang naman natin dito is itong 48, which is K, kasi pang 48 siya, at ang N natin is 15. Okay? You do the same with P sub 62 and P sub 84. So, P sub 62 is the 9.90 second position at P sub 84 is the 13.44 position. Okay, so step 3, isolve natin yung mga kinukuwang percentile. So, the first one is P sub 48, which is in the 7.68 position. So, it lies between 7th and 8th score. So, ang 7th at 8th score natin is 88 at saka 89. Okay, so we take the decimal part of 7.68, which is 0 0.68. I-minus natin ang 89 at saka 88. So, 89 minus 88 and then i-plus natin ang 88. Okay, so performing the operations, P sub 48 is equal to 88.68. Next, isolve naman natin ang P sub 62. So, siya ay nasa 9.90 second position. So, it lies between the 9th and 10th score. So, ang 9th at 10th score natin ay 89 at saka 90. So, we take the decimal part of 9.92 which is 0 0.92. I-minus natin ito, that is 90 minus 89 and then i-plus yung 89. Okay, performing the operations here, P sub 62 is equal to 89.92. And for uh, P sub 84, this is, this is in the 13.44th position, so it lies between 13th and 14th score. So the 13th and 14th score are 94 and 98. Okay, so we take the decimal part of 13.44 which is 0 0.44. Ima minus natin ito, 98 minus 94 and then i plus yung 94. So, performing the operations here, P sub 84 is equal to 95.76. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.